Broker IPTV. Today we're talking with Scott Weber, owner of Fuller Sotheby's International Realty here in Denver. Welcome to the show. Thanks, Dan. Good glad to be here, here again. Well, we, I'm glad you brought that up because two years ago we had you here. You had just bought Fuller Town and Country Properties. And um, I'm sure you heard a lot of people say, wow, that guy bought a firm at an interesting time. Well, no doubt the timing was uh, suspicious <laughs> and coincidental. <laughs> right. But, you know, when you've been at this business for 35 years and you're committing uh, for another 20 years, What's a little blip in the market? You know? uh, <laughs> There's so, bound to be a few. Right? Yeah, you know, when it's a long-term commitment, you know, these are just the up and up and downs in the business, yeah. and you, you're prepared to deal with whatever market, you know, comes at you. Well, let's talk about that. How's it been over the last two years? Can you give us a quick assessment of kind of where you're at and where the market's at at this time? Well, you know, the market's definitely recovering. I mean, we're we're clearly seeing, uh, you know, listing inventories getting smaller. We're seeing more buyers in the market. So the balance between the supply and the demand is, is definitely improving. Uh, we've seen more sales in the luxury segment so far this year than we saw all of last year. Yeah. Talk about the luxury market. Obviously, Fuller Sotheby's has well, been well entrenched in there, and that's been a difficult market over the last two years, both for buyers and sellers and, and all the way around. You said it's getting better. The outlook is that it will continue to improve. Some people are concerned about a double dip. What do you think? I don't. I don't think this double dip rumor is anything worth worrying about. Sure. I mean, uh, I think people are just gaining more confidence in the overall economy all the time, and we're we're definitely seeing that in the way people are uh, spending today. You know, people are definitely much more liberal in their spending, and 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 so the luxury segment has has. Uh, has picked way up. We're having way more showings, way more contracts, in fact, multiple offers. Full disclosure, obviously I work in the luxury market. I have a lot of luxury listings. One of the things that I run up against, and I'm sure you hear a lot of as being owner of the company, is Fuller Sotheby's wouldn't be interested in selling my home. I'm not a luxury home. Yeah, clearly our program is oriented towards probably the the segment of the market that is is maybe 500,000 and above. But really, you know, our, our brand is more about the quality factor than it is about the luxury segment. Mm -hmm. You know, we're really, we're really just a, 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 an organization with, with, a, with a brand and with a, a philosophy that's oriented around the, the, uh, the concept of, luck, of quality mm -hmm. and, and just really doing things with excellence. And so every one of our clients benefits, you know, from that commitment and, and that philosophy regardless of the price point. Last year we, we sold a property, you know, for fifty thousand mm -hmm. and we sold we had the highest sale in the market at nine point two million. Yeah. So, you know, we we're selling everything in between. And we, we take as much pride in, in selling a property that's uh, on the on the lower average sales price range as we do in the luxury segment. I tell people all the time that just say, you know, yes, we sell million dollar homes, and if your is not a million dollar home, don't worry, you'll just get the million dollar service. That's that exactly offer. right. That's exactly right. <laughs> yeah. All right. How about real quick? What's left on the horizon? What do we have to look forward to? Where's the market headed? Well, I think we're just going to see continual improvement. You know, we're real fortunate in Denver. You know, Denver. You know, there's there's a. Uh, uh, in migration into Denver, there's mm -hmm. a lot of companies moving here. There's, you know, there's there's growth. There's, you know, Denver is very fortunate, and and so I, I see the Denver market uh, in of itself, you know, getting stronger. I see the national marketplace getting stronger. I, I think that, you know, uh, uh, that we, we, you know, that the, the future is bright. Yeah, you know, I tell very bright. People still want to live in Denver. Absolutely. Thanks this, for this being is, here. This is a good place to be. Yeah, I appreciate. Thank it. Thank you, Danny. Good to see you again. Yep. Find more real estate videos at BrokerIPTV.com.